welcome back to my channel. Today is my last update for this month, February's, what is it? A freezer and pantry challenge. And so this whole month, I have tried to buy as very, very, very little as possible and eat out of our freezer and pantry a lot, just to make sure nothing's going bad in my freezer, nothing's getting forgotten about or buried in my pantry as well and also to save a lot of money. Another great thing is that we end up getting creative. We often find new meals during these times. I do it about every six to nine months usually. It's not just when I feel like I've got a lot of food and I should stop shopping that month. If you watch my updates, you will have seen that I bought some things along the way that were necessary or I just didn't want to get too behind on because the next month it'll cost me a lot of money. But I really tried to think very, very minimal while still eating healthy. <laughs> and we did find some things in our freezer we had definitely forgotten about. We found things in our pantry even that we had forgotten about. My pantry's not even huge. It's a nice little closet, but it's not very deep. So I'm surprised that we found things in there that we had lost. It was really good. This week even Micah went through my pantry and looked at some of my spices and checked um, expiration dates and he found a couple things he was able to throw away. Uh, it's not stuff we normally use and then this week also since it was about the last week for me I really put a lot of more thought into how I want to reorganize my pantry and freezers while they were empty So I'll show you a little bit about that, but a few days ago. I bought my last groceries for This month and so let me show you what I picked up here are the groceries that I got for the last week it cost me about $22 and I was in Walmart. Last week we picked up 10 bushels of bananas and we ate all of them in a week. So this week we've instituted a banana limit. We did have an extra baby last week so she really liked bananas too but we're limiting everybody to two, three very max a day. <laughs> And then I got two of those milk for Hope who has some trouble with lactose. We tried it a couple weeks ago and it, it worked really well. So I may try another brand soon. A couple of you have mentioned some brands to try, but um, I just picked up that this time and I got another dish soap. I got the two brownie boxes for the kids and the sugar-free Reese's just for me to have like one once in a while. These are treats to make us feel better about ourselves because we are over it. We are so over this pantry challenge. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll make it to the very end of February. But these are going to make everybody happy because we have no baking supplies left. And yeah, we just needed a treat, guys. Those brownie mix boxes were 88 cents each. And that small bag of Reese's that are sugar-free was just under 250. Today, my whole wheat flour came from Sam's Club. I ordered it online, and there are six bags of that. Yeah, there's the whole box. Ooh. We have plenty to make more bread now, which will help make everybody happier. <laughs> I bought those flour, that box of flour last week, but they just arrived this week. So I paid for them last week. I think it was $21. How many pounds are they, Belle? Four pounds? Six four pound bags. So yeah. I haven't tried it yet to know if it's any good, but I'm sure it is. Hope sees herself in camera. She's looking at We've still got snot here. <laughs> Okay, so that's what we bought. Our total spending came to just about $525 for the month. Now, we normally spend $1,300, so we were able to do very well and save a lot of money and buy very minimal. Uh, we did things like made sure we use cloth diapers almost full-time. We don't use them at night, but we did them almost full-time. Otherwise, we used uh, cloth wipes as well. And then, like I said, we just really planned our meals with what we had available in our pantry and freezer. This last week has been a lot more challenging, especially I noticed because I try to follow Trim Healthy Mama diet and um, even more on the keto side of things, staying on those S meals a lot. Solo does too, cause he, he does more just the S meals or the keto type diet. And it is getting harder and harder to eat that way. Uh, breakfast and lunches, that's where it's at. That's where it's difficult, uh, and snacks too. So I've been making bread, but now today I even ran out of salt. It's, I shopped Thursday, it's now Sunday. It's just a few days till the end of the month, and I went ahead and ordered some of my groceries that we will pick up tomorrow. So we're not making it quite to the end of the month. We're just, we're out of so much stuff. We're out of eggs, it's just, it's getting really hard. 
to figure out what to eat. We have eaten well, and when you see my freezers, you'll say, well, she still has a lot of food. And we do, we have a lot of, we bought a whole pig a, num a few months ago, a couple months ago, and so we don't want to eat it all because we wanted to spread it out more and just have pork like, you know, once in a while instead of every day. We don't want to eat all that up. And then we do have some vegetables left like cauliflower rice and broccoli rice that Solo and I eat a lot of. Um, but otherwise, we've done really good of cleaning it all out, and I'll show you that. Okay, here's our inside fridge. It is pretty empty. Pretty empty. Here's our vegetable drawer. A sweet, sweet viewer sent us a package this week, or I don't know when she sent it, but we just picked it up this week. And it had some dark chocolate in it, and so, yeah, that's an... I'd been out of that for a while. That was a really good treat. And we have, this is the only cheese left in the whole house. If you've watched our hauls, that's pretty good for us because we're cheese eaters. I guess I could put this ham with this ham up here. Ooh, I need to clean some stuff around here. One of the things we uncovered in our outside freezer when we were started defrosting it was some popsicles that were buried. So the kids have had some fun with the, these and we brought them inside. Um, but it's basically fish in here and hardly anything else left. And then we have our canned beans and stuff. We cooked up the last of our black beans, so ate some of those this week and froze some. And just a couple bags of pepperoni left and a little bit of broccoli and cauliflower. So the pantry is one of the areas I really want to better organize. I've saved some of these old containers of pretzels and pork rinds because we're going to be traveling this month and I want to make some granola ahead of time. This next month, rather. Um, because we'll take the granola with us on our road trip. That's one of the syrups we uncovered that was way up high back there. We don't usually eat this kind of syrup. We usually eat maple syrup, but for some reason we had bought that a few months ago and it was unopened, so we are using that up now. And then I brought all my jars over here. I had them on my open shelving, but I wanna use them to store all my grains. I've got two jars for each thing. Noodles, brown rice, white rice. I'm gonna replace those with other beans because there's no need for me to store Oatmeal in these, we go through oatmeal so fast. And then pinto beans, oh, black beans, a couple things of black beans too. So I picked up some more of these little baskets. It helps me use more of my shelves. That's extra nuts. This is gonna be full of some noodles. This is my canned area that I'll replenish some this next month. And then I picked up a couple of these containers at Walmart. They only had a couple, um, but I wanna get some more. And they unlock, really nice. We have a lot of problems with our pantry the kids baking and I usually keep their baking stuff down there but uh, it because they use the open bags it gets everywhere I'd like to just keep these things full of white flour I want to get another one for brown right now my brown is in there I want to have one for white sugar brown sugar coconut sugar which we use a lot of and then I make my own trim healthy mama baking blend so I'm gonna have one for that as well and then we usually I guess we usually I want to keep my coconut oil here and that baking powder and just have all their baking stuff there where they can pull it out, scoop it much easier, and put it back, and hopefully things stay a little cleaner. I bought a label maker, so I'm gonna go to town on that. And then, these are just some special ingredients for Trim Healthy Mama, and these are all like some foreign spices that are just in random containers that we use a lot of. And I'll keep my extras down there of the big bags of things. And that's where we keep applesauce and some oil. Usually we have all our oatmeals lined up here and stacked almost to the top. <laughs> but we only have a little bit left in here, like not even enough for one bowl, plus what's left in that jar. So we really ate through the oatmeal, a little bit of onions left. This is my outside freezer. I'm going to show you what we've been up to today. We unplugged it, and it is so cold here. We're in the middle of a blizzard. Today's actually Sunday, and church was even canceled because... We got so much snow. So it's really hard to defrost a freezer when you have that much snow. So we have big pots that we keep putting boiling water in our freezer and we unplugged it and we've just been letting it um, drip down. And you can see we've been doing it all day, keep replacing these boiling waters and we still have ice in here. But I think it's almost done, good enough. And we're gonna hopefully fix that shelf somehow and then reload it. We have about two or three baskets like this basically we have one and a half baskets left Th these are laundry baskets just to give you an idea of pork and then we got a few four things of chicken legs left and some of these 
vegetables um, that are just in small bags that we'll fill the door with and some peppers and onions. The nice thing about cleaning out my freezer right now is I don't have to find a home for these while it's cleaning out because it is freezing out here. We're in my garage, by the way, if I didn't say that earlier. So we have two milks out here and an almond milk. There's one more bag of lettuce, and I've been eating a lot of salads. One bag of Brussels sprouts. A couple milks there, too. Forgot about that. And some more Greek yogurt. And it looks like someone saved themselves a, a popsicle right in the, in the fridge. And down here in the freezer of the fridge, we have some vegetables that we bought last week. This is... One more bag of frozen fruit we found, or berries. And then this is just some more pork that I didn't gather, and bananas too. When I fill my big freezer again, I'm getting some baskets to put in there so we can put different cuts of pork together so they don't get lost and they're easy to find. So that's one change I'm gonna make. Hopefully I'll have that done next week in my big once a month grocery haul that comes out next Monday. So I hopefully can give you a glimpse of just how we're organizing that freezer and how we fit it all in. If you're interested in seeing that, that is. Basically, this is wrapping up our pantry freezer challenge. I am so glad it was a short month and I'm so glad it's over because it's gotten hard. The last time I did one was June and we had a lot more food. We were able to pretty easily go six weeks. And this time I'm not quite making it four. So just had more food last time we must be eating it up better this time i guess so i know the last thing people are curious about is what we're doing with our savings all the money we saved and we're gonna actually make a video and tell you what we're gonna do with that that should be coming out on friday so uh, check back here if you want to see what we're doing with our savings and yeah that's it so i want to show you really quick today tonight uh, solo was home and he's a, the better cook without the recipe. I pulled out a bunch of stuff out of the freezer today and just asked him to make something out of it that we can eat for dinner tonight as well as maybe lunch tomorrow, maybe dinner tomorrow, who knows what. I just want some food in the fridge that's already cooked. You see we still got renovation projects going on around here. See the ladder in the background, but let me show you what he made because it is really good. First of all, one of you guys, and let me say you guys have had the best ideas all month long for us. We've gotten such great ideas from you. But one of you said, hey, there's spinach and chickpeas in there. You guys should make a curry with that. So we found some spinach and chickpeas in our freezer and Solo made a curry with coconut milk and coriander, turmeric, curry powder, tomatoes. I think he used crushed tomatoes and we had a little bit of chicken thighs left. So he did that. It's nice, two nice big pots of it, and it is so good. Let me tell you, I think we'll have to make this again sometime. Thanks for cooking, Solo. You bet. I love it when you cook. Can you just cook every single night? And we'll be poor all our lives. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make the money, you do the cooking. <laughs> okay, and then um, this, what did you make here, Palau? This is a Kenyan Palau, basically, which we've done a video about before, and the difference is we had some ground lamb and ground beef, just a little of each. Well, I guess two pounds of ground lamb, one pound of ground beef, and he made that up with a white rice. The kids love Palau, so this will be great for me to serve for lunch over the next couple days and have a couple easy things. I feel like everything's been hard because like, just to eat a meal, sometimes I have to make a loaf of bread. This nice big pot will be helpful. Today I made my last bread because we're even out of salt. <laughs> In fact, I didn't even have enough honey to make these. It was two loaves of bread. I didn't even have enough honey to make the loaves of bread and I had to, I found some corn syrup in there, and so it was half honey, half corn syrup. It worked, it, it turned out really well, but um, not ideally what I wanna use in my bread. I am gonna share my bread recipe with you soon this next month. I just have been wanting to get it perfect. <laughs> Can bread be perfect? Uh, I don't know, maybe not mine, but the recipe I found is really good. It's just, I've been tweaking it a little, so I will share it with you soon hopefully next month. I have several good recipes to share with you over this next month I'm excited about. I think you'll like if you've liked my other stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Please check back next week to see our massive grocery haul uh, and see how I replace everything. <laughs> Fill it all back up again. And I appreciate you guys that joined us on this journey and kept up and commented and gave us all your suggestions. It's been great. So we'll talk to you guys soon.